Hello friend and welcome to part 3 of basic concepts on solid geometry. Here we see the last part of the theory which is on sphere and hemisphere. These are very easy, we have to just remember the formulas. So a sphere has a center and a radius. So I can draw the radius which is this part. So this is say small r is the radius of the sphere. So the volume is given by this formula. 4 by 3 pi r cube and total surface area here the surface will be curved there will be no flat surface area and the surface area is given by 4 pi r square. If I happen to cut this sphere of radius r such that the cut passes through the center for example if I cut it like this and if it passes through the center then we get hemisphere. So we will be getting two hemisphere. So we'll be getting one flat surface area or this flat surface will be a circle with radius small r and the area will be pi r square. So volume for the hemisphere will be half the volume of the sphere which is 2 by 3 pi r cube and here it should be curved surface area and the curved surface area would be 2 pi r square which is this part. And the total surface area will be 3 pi r square. Why 3 pi r square? Because there is one flat surface which has been generated because of the cut. So the total surface area will be curved surface area which is 2 pi r square that is half of this value plus a new generated surface with area pi r square. So we will be getting 3 pi r square. So the basic fundamentals of sphere and hemisphere. Let's move to the next concept which is conservation of volume. Many questions appear in competitive exams where one solid figure is melted and is casted into some other solid. In any such scenario, the only thing which remains constant is the volume. Volume will always be constant or same for both the figures and that's why we say conservation of volume. Let's take an example to understand. Here a metallic sphere of radius 4 cm, so the radius of this is 4, is melted and drawn into right circular cylinder of diameter 2 cm. So here the diameter is 2, so radius would be 1. Now we have to find the height of the cylinder. How do we do? Since the volume is same, we can equate the volume. Volume of sphere is 4 by 3 pi r cube and volume of cylinder is pi r square h. Here the radius will be different. The radius of sphere is given as 4 and the radius of cylinder is 1. So let me compare. So volume of sphere would be 4 by 3 times pi into r cube. So this much. This would be equal to pi into radius of the cylinder which is 1 square into height. So pi and pi being common will get cancelled out. So height is 4 cube or 4 to the power 4 divided by 3. So this will be the height of the cylinder. With this we have come to the end of the theory part. In the next videos we will discuss some very good examples and see how we apply the formula to solve those questions. Thank you.